And Rich Trapper tapping in. TNN Trap News Network. You feel me? Rich Trapper. The homie wanted you to uh, whitelist this shit too. Ooh. Rich Trapper. Rich Trapper. He be reacting to your shit. We back in the same, back in the same, like cracking the same, man. Like, comment, subscribe for more that's good. Contiana, we got going on here at TN Trap News Network. Some news you can use. Knowledge Ethos, you can't get nobody's college Ethos, big dog. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe for more that's good. Contiana, we got going on here at TN Trap News Network. Get into that if you ain't got into that. Like, comment, subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe. Like, comment, and you subscribe. Get into that, man. Make sure you also get the free to trappers over there on Crenshaw and King, man. Free to trappers. Free to trappers. Free to trappers. Free to trappers. Free to trappers on Crenshaw and King, man. Get into everything they got going on. Pull up on Free the Trappers on Crenshaw and King in the old Louisiana fried chicken right across the street from the Krispy Kreme donut, man. They get you a rich lap, a rich lapper, a rich lapper, a rich trapper, trap, Lottie, trap pack. I mix trapper and Lottie. A rich trapper, trap, Lottie, trap pack, man. Make sure y'all get into that. If you ain't got into that, man, get into those, man. 10 grams of greatness, trap pack. Rich trapper, 10 grams, trap pack, man. Make sure y'all get into that. If you ain't got into that, man, make sure y'all get into it, get into it, get into it. If you ain't got into all of that, man, get into that. Um, what else do I need to tell y'all about? $500, man. Drop a comment because the best comment between now and 50,000 subscribers, we get a $500 cash shopping tin. $500 cash apping tin. Get into that from me. And it's a $500 cash shopping tin from T Real over there on Back on Fig. So that is $1,000 for you and your Pacquianas if you get the best comment between now and 50,000 subscribers. So make sure y'all get into that if you ain't got into that. And my newest single, 100,000 cash. 100,000 cash. Make sure y'all get into that. If you ain't got into that, man, 100,000 cash. Uh, we got Adam22 on getting negative backlash for the Pop Smoke Unaliver interview. We finna jump into this content. I don't want no further ado. The Dunce Man, three, two, one, let's go. We've been getting hell for doing the interview with Pop Smoke's killer, Blockstar. Oh, yeah, y'all have it. People coming out of the woodwork. People I never even, even seen get out of before. He, he, he did uh, four he years, five years on Juvenile Life. That's yeah, I think he did Juvenile yeah. Life. But, yeah. okay, and so, they lowered sad. Juvenile Life from what it used to be. It used to be 25, sure. be 25 and they changed it to 21. 21. Yeah, that confused uh -huh. me, too. Fact. Yeah, I got people fact. coming out of the woodwork to let me know how fucked up they think it is that I did that interview. And I'm going to be honest, I've been hearing them out. And I've yet to see any sort of real opinion for why this interview is different than any number of other interviews, such as the Terrence Gangster Williams stuff, such as people platforming Tax Stone, such as, you know, all Whoa. kinds of shit. And I don't, uh, I, I, I hear a lot of, this makes me feel bad. I don't see any real logical explanation for why this kid shouldn't be platformed and why we shouldn't seek to learn about rap history through people that were involved in some of its atrocities. Now, like how we don't know who killed Tupac. We well, do. And we found that out through rap interviews for the most part. They've been Vlad did the Keefy D thing and he kind of oh. helped us figure it all out, right? Uh, yeah. But, I mean, He's a Baltimore but that, native. That's why it makes sense. So it's the same that's type crazy. of situation. Uh, well, that's no. what I'm saying. Well, here's the thing. I, I don't believe I'm that saying you, it too, babe. I don't believe that you did <laughs> anything wrong, but I feel like people's aversion to it and why? Because I was thinking about it. Like, why are people putting so much emphasis on the no jumper as a platform and holding us to a higher level? Because it's never of happened before in life. This is history. Be okay. Well, it's because Adam's white and people already don't like Adam. I'm gonna call a spade a spade because people already don't like Adam. It's because Adam's white and because Adam's already a woo whopper of a whoopty bammer, a flu flammer of a flu flammer, and people are already kind of like, hey, you know. We ain't really feeling you, big dog. We're already calling you the vultures of the cultures of the cultures of the vultures and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, I'm not gonna front. If it would have been anybody else, it would have been in poor taste, yes, but it's worse because it's Adam. I ain't gonna lie. It is. Sometimes it just works because it's you, big dog. It is what it is. It is true. Nobody it is. ever got out of jail with a rap death, killing right. the rapper, and got out to talk about it. So that, that, that's Why a they fact. One thing that Go I ahead. think is, I think it's because how well he was liked. Mm -hmm. this, tone no, 100%, be, yeah. this tone would be extremely different if it Very true. If it was someone who nobody really cared about, if it was Takashi, God bless. Um, yeah, we got a God bless the rats too. Even the ones that snitching on YouTube, God bless them all. Um, it would definitely be a totally different situation. Somebody who the majority of people didn't love. Because of course, Tax Stone. Sure.
killed a security guard who apparently was pretty beloved by a lot of people. Banger. I don't know him. A lot of people in the hip hop media and shit do. So that's like definitely a reason why a lot of people wouldn't be eager to platform Tax Stone. But nobody has given me one single explanation of why having a conversation with this block star kid is any different than people allowing Tax Stone to be up on their spaces and shit. Aside from the fact that Block Star killed someone who was beloved and famous and Tax Stone killed a security guard. Well, and and, and re like remember when we first acknowledged this whole thing happening I was like oh the New Yorkers are going to be mad and I saw this happen I knew it was yes, going to happen I mean. but the main reason why is this because and I'm not saying they're right because I don't believe they are but no jumper has been the catalyst of a lot of artists and just content creators in general reaching a higher platform. Mm. This is a platform that literally springs people to a higher level of success. So people think that if you appear on this platform, it's equivalent mm. to appearing on like this this is you coming up. However, if you if this motherfucker was on No, I could definitely understand that too, but I think that no matter where this particular kid would have went, um it would have been what it was for him regardless. You know what I'm saying? I don't think that he would have, you know, nothing like that. No, I think that, um, I think that this kid, for the most part, he went, work. it doesn't matter. Like, it could have been Vlad, it could have been whatever. The, the, the story is going to be the story no matter what. The kid's the draw, not the platform. You feel me? So let's, let's get that clear. The kid's the draw. The block star, he's the draw. His story is the draw, not the platform. Now, do people view No Jumper in a light? For sure. Did I view No Jumper in the same light? Definitely. Um, so I don't disagree with everything Lush is saying, but I think that it could have went anywhere with the exact same, you know, one, two step like Sierra, for sure. Definitely. Um, the kid is infamous. The kid is infamous, man. The kid is infamous. The kid is infamous. The kid is infamous. But at the same time, um, the kid does have a very interesting story because like what was just said, he's the first person to ever get out and be able to tell about what happened, you know, in that situation with him and said Artie. So <coughs> it's interesting for sure. 60 minutes. Mm. This motherfucker was on CNN News. Would you really think that? No, or but it's academics. okay. And or, if you go through the, the history books, you can find shitloads of examples of Barbara Walters and Oprah, all these okay. famous ass interviewers interviewing legitimate serial killers. People Jeffrey who Dahmer! 20, 30 people. Yes. Jeffrey Dahmer. Yeah. Okay. Here, here's. <coughs> yeah. But the difference, <coughs> the difference is where they're going to play with you at is they're going to say that those are actual news platforms where you're a hip hop. Well, <coughs> now that I'm saying it out loud, damn, I guess this is hip hop news. It is a hip hop news platform. Damn it. Dare I say Adam has a freaking point. Allergies, y'all. Allergies. But dare I say, does Adam 22 have a freaking point? I think I might say that Adam 22 has a flipping point. I think I might say that the Adam 22 guy has a flipping point. Ugh. But it's, it's very true. I think he does have a flipping point. Keep going. Hypothetical example, would it have been appropriate if he had not killed himself for Hitler to have done an interview after World War II? Obviously, yes. If we had a real sit-down interview with Hitler 10 years after all that shit, you don't think that that would be an important historical record to understand yeah. what went down during that yes. time period? Blockstar, yeah. Are you comparing Blockstar to Hitler? I'm putting you in the Hitler category. Kind of just put him in Hitler category. But I am saying that you can learn a lot by interviewing people who do bad things. And I don't really see the situation as being any different. Interviewing and someone is not equivalent nigga, to platforming them. It would be different see, too I if it was a rapper before. Turn a new path yeah, and learn from it. Because it's really important that like, that's the reason that we really, that you even do it to like bring the awareness to learn from it. It's not about just exploiting somebody all the time. Mm. It's really about trying to learn from it too so that we don't keep fucking up on the same type of repetitive shit when we can really, you know, do better things like mm. and try to elevate from it instead of just like you know what I'm saying I just feel like bringing awareness to it in I, general was important I surprisingly intelligent take I see academics give you Not some shit surprisingly <laughs> you know what I, mean? I see academics give take you some shit over it <laughs> after he was no, allegedly God. he was allegedly surfing for the interview too he was in the, was yeah did you hear it he spoke to me before I did the interview. He actually, from the beginning, though, he said that he would not do it. Mm. So I thought that the young dude told you that academics was... I think they were trolling. 
Because they posted at one point, like, academics interview coming next. But they were just fucking around. Because, like, I spoke to a few different people that were planning on doing the interview with him. And uh, I think that's the other thing, too, is that people think that if I didn't do that interview, that homie was just going to go quietly into the sun. No, somebody was going to do that interview. And somebody was going to give that young man some chili. Now, all he got was 7,500, which is not a good number at all. You should have definitely did it for way more chili than 7,500. Because Adam 22 stands to make so much money off of that big dog. You're not going to make... Never mind, but either way it go. Um, you should have got more chili than that. But he was gonna get that chili no matter what. No, he was never gonna Somebody speak politically. Gonna it. Right. I hate to break it to y'all, but homeboy is famous in LA now. Like it's not it's not like because we made him famous, it's just like he was gonna be famous either way. Not for something good, but for something bad. But he was gonna infamous. be going yeah, infamous. Was he was gonna be, be going down on the way. history books one way yeah. or another. And I, all right, I'm gonna be real with you. No jumper. The interviews that we do, nine times out of ten, when we get somebody on this platform, they are from a street background. They make drill music. They're they make gang related music, etc. And for the most part, most of the people in the hip hop corporate landscape are willing to like ignore us. They know that we're popular. They don't watch our content. They might see a clip here and there. But for the most part, they're kind of oblivious to what we're doing over here. No, they know what's going on. If you actually no, pay no, attention, no, 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 okay, no, no, no. But I'm talking about the New I York know, world. Just, just no, in general, just as big as like a platform like a Zeus Network is, y'all, you, no jumper is just as big of a platform online. Okay. It's, All I'm it's, saying it's is just as big a platform. This might I'm be a, in jail done seeing the shit from the on the no jumper. What you mean? But all I'm saying is that Baltimore. this is I'm trying to tell you everybody see what's going on over here. This is what it's like. Huh? Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I love you, boo. Um, but anyway, all I'm saying is that I don't think because they're not clicking play on the EBK J Bo interviews. They're not clicking play on the MMB bands, etc. Impossible to spell from Stockton interview. Right. So they don't know that we interview people who have been associated with crazy ass shit all the time. And that we, when we platform somebody, we're not saying, hey, this guy's the next top rapper out. We're just saying, this motherfucker got an interesting story to tell. So I feel like this was like a rude awakening for a lot of people to realize how dark No Jumper's content does get at times. Well, but I don't shy away from that shit. If I Eric Holder if gets released tomorrow, who? I'll be lying if I said Lil T. The fact that she said who is crazy. The fact that he was as an example is crazier. The fact that we all know that if Eric Holder got released tomorrow, he'd get millions of dollars for an interview was the craziest. And didn't tap in. Yeah. Whoa. All, all I say is give me some time. <laughs> give me some time. <laughs> I gotta yeah. let this this uh, whole storm settle before I consider Eric that. Got released, Brick Baby will make sure he got that interview. We'll make sure he got that chili for it. On one end, that's to his job. On another end, on a moral standpoint, mm, we're not going to bring that up because it's a fake fictitious situation and no need to create real emotions over fake situations. That's what we're going to leave that right there at. Because you know but, the okay. old blocky is nowhere your ass at. Okay, like, <laughs> how, how would you feel about that? It, it, do you think that Eric Holder should do an interview on this platform if it comes down to it? Fuck no. Hell no. Why? Why? Hell what no, makes the situation I different? I can't be it. Hey, look at Brick making the right decision, man. I'm just putting my foot in my mouth. Look at Brick. Look at Brick making the right decision. That's right, Brick. You don't be a part of nothing that can get you no more flu flammery of a flu flam. That's right, Brick. I like that. I like that. You can't think smart. Look at Brick. Let me go ahead and be quiet. Oh, where your ass at? Oh, yeah, but <laughs> how, how would you feel about that? If, if, do you think that Eric Holder should do an interview on this platform if it comes down to it? Fuck no. Hell no. Why? Why? Hell what no, makes the situation I different? I can't be involved with it. It's in our backyard. Yeah, I know. You just got to let CNN yeah, have that one. Mm. Yeah, I mean, because at the end of the day. too much, game. <laughs> yeah. Unless we get paid, unless we get paid some M's to where I'm finna move Bob's from up <laughs> off the <of> sauce. Because <laughs> like, this is bigger than the homie. Yeah. Like, I can handle that. This is all the LA. And then it's like, who's to tell you that? We go have a positive vibe the first time we see each other. Because mm. mm. you haven't seen him. I can say that. Well, that's Rick said that he might crash on Eric Holder. Okay, okay, I like where this is going. Let's see. Brick. That's his little Look at Brick grabbing some redemption right here. All right, Brick. She was having a rough morning, but I like how this is changing for you towards we go and get into the afternoon. I like this. Oh, that you feel me? Any, you know? For the record, for anyone who's not catching on, he's talking about a shitty cuz who was responsible for the nip situation. But either way, all right, I have to acknowledge that, like, on on rest in peace, Nip. Please, on principle, rest in peace. Interviewing the dude who killed Nip is the same exact thing as interviewing the dude who killed Pop Smoke. But it's all the bigger. In terms of like the practical reality of doing that kind of interview, it might. 
it might be a, a, a different feel. Yeah. 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 No, no, no. Yeah. Actually, being here in LA, yeah, right. exactly. Yeah. Realistic. Right, yeah. let's, let's say you At, get p- p- sent in. Oh, okay, but there's a right. reason why that right. situation is totally unrealistic. Yeah. Is because Pop Smoke's killer got out after five years. Yeah, mm-hmm. Shitty Cut might never be on the streets again. No, or if he I does, said, it'll be in twenty years. Out, no, I said if he got out tomorrow. Yeah. Right? Like, shit. Nah, like, what nah. is the? But somebody's taking that interview was yeah. my point. Yeah, yeah. like I wasn't sure. saying no jumper, nah, but I'm saying gonna no it's jumper. gonna get published. Hell, no. Somebody would, would no, go to great lengths to, to no. secure that interview if they had the potential to do that. Like mm-hmm. they would love that. I'm not telling Adam. I'm not telling. No, I'm not telling Adam. You said everybody else tell what y'all talked about with the next motherfucker. Like you know that. Be bad. That's too- Adam, you better tell that girl to shut up before she get everybody in that mother in trouble. Adam, you better tell that girl to hush her mouth before she get everybody in that room in trouble. Girl, hold on now. Hold on now, girl. You're doing too much. Hold on now. You're talking too much now. Close your mouth now. Be quiet now. Go on, hush up now. Much. Do you I know, know who he but is? That, I you know, know, but like that's yes, but I understand, but I shitty. don't understand, and I get it. No, yeah, I don't no, get that. No, I don't know yeah, that. Yeah, it can't yeah, go what? like that. No. Oh, you, oh, you said no. You can't have it. Can't, nah, it can't. Nah, it can't. Not, not, not right bad. here. It's not right here. It's a fuck shit. And it's not even on no bullshit. It's just like the way that the streets is. That's my dog that you just knocked down. Like at the end of the day, everybody gonna look at me like, damn, you just pro nip, pro nip, pro nip. You had the nigga that knocked nip down right in front yeah, of you. You'll never you do. live that down. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah though, you I might as well know. go ahead and- You will never live that down. You got the man in front of you and you didn't do nothing. You will never live that down. They would forever be on you about that. It would always be an issue. It would always be a problem. It would always be a back and forth. It would always be a something. You would never, for the rest of your life, have rest behind that. Never have any type of rest behind that. It would forever be a situation. It would forever be a problem. You will always, 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 always have a problem behind that. Ooh, pack yeah. it up, go to Arkansas. You should move cut. to New York. Cause you're fucking. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Nigga, with Dusty Lil Kane, you'll be straight. I ain't even gonna lie. Realistically, you be the toughest though, nigga on the planet, you're cooked. I feel I like. Feel like- Yo, I want it. he would be such a high profile. Man, yeah. I don't know. Like, I, I, don't, I don't would think, be speaking a different tone if Blockstar had a rap career in LA before he went to jail. Oh, totally. Yeah. Yes, yes, yeah. they would. Yeah, no, but, I guarantee but, you, nobody would really, be saying much. But what it, you don't think it would yeah, be? Nah. Like, you think it would be less severe? Yes. Yeah. So because this fool is trying to launch a career mm-hmm. off of is this he, event, if well, he drops a song after this, I ain't gonna lie. He's uh, gonna look. He's a been bit. in the studio. Mm. Uh, he got a manager already. Wait, you didn't watch the interview? Like well, my somebody manager. Somebody was gonna do it though. He somebody said my was manager. Gonna do it. I- Him having a manager just means that somebody saw a way to make money and steal from this kid. Blockstar. Have you ever seen this video? Pay attention to the fact that you have absolutely nothing to manage. So if this manager is not giving you anything, meaning that he's getting twenty percent off everything that you make, and that's really a high number, but twenty percent off everything you make, understand that he's not doing nothing for you. You should not be coming out of your pocket for services of the manager. The manager's job is to go out to find something for you to do that he could profit here from, big dog. However, why? you have a manager in your situation a hundred percent 100 percent beyond me because i don't think that you need a manager you don't again have too much of anything to manage but don't be a fool young sir you've already done one thing foolish don't do two things foolish said this nigga got a manager off a body that's crazy nigga want 20 percent of your life like what maybe more well exactly i I don't want to might be 25 i don't want to fuck y'all people up but a good manager is not going to take more than no 20 they gonna really take less than 15 if not if they put the money into we we talking about a shark deal but if the money into them and all that kind of stuff which is not what a manager should be doing at all it's not a manager's job and if the manager is putting money into you and all that that takes them from manager to now a label owner or company owner or something like that digress 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 um yeah be careful sound like you about to get flu flam big dog it sounds like everybody's aware of the flu flam but you brother brother so yeah no nah, <laughs> but not even that not even that bro if they got the resources to catapult you faster real, and they're take putting 50, money crazy. and take they're 50%. putting money in to, me, to make 50. you pop Fuck yeah, yeah. they deserve 30 to 35 percent that's crazy boy oh boy yeah catching they, the body and imagine catching the body coming out of jail not having nothing and then somebody manipulates you into doing all these interviews and putting all this chili into you 
And they're going to claim more chilling than what they actually really put into you, big dog. For sure, for sure. You better believe it. You better believe it. And then when it comes time for you to actually have some actual chili, they say, hey, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Remember I bought you this? Remember I gave you that? Remember that one time you needed that cheeseburger and you, you needed bacon on it and you had the money for the bacon? Yeah, I went and gave you that, blah, blah, blah. Hey, remember that one time you needed extra ranch and it was 50 cent? Blah, blah, yeah, I paid. You need me... Pay me back for that ranch, big dog, blah, blah. You finna get into all that, Blockstar. You finna get into all that, big dog. You think that this is all on the strength and all on the love? Oh, no, my friend. You have been 360'd. You have been 360'd, big dog. You gonna have to pay all that back. Ugly work. Ugly work. Hey, I'm the home home home. Somebody who wasn't even an actual celebrity or rap star prior to this. Crazy. But gives you a <laughs> manager. No, fuck it, up. Crazy. And, and I think that uh, crazy. I think that the, the most disturbing part about the whole thing to me is the precedent that this sets. Yeah. Like, oh, all you gotta do is smoke a cracking ass rapper if you're a kid, and then when you come home, you gonna have a rap career. But well, that's already idiot, how it been bro. working. You'll be yeah, in idiot, Chicago, yeah. in New York, in a lot of places. That's not cool. Bro, DJ, you did an interview with Bloodhound Lil Jeff like a couple months before he died, and the title says 10 bodies? Question yeah. mark. Let me snort the blue. And he, yo, Flavor. dead ass. And he wasn't exactly like denying that shit. You know, it's yes. like the, the dynamic of you kill somebody and you're famous in rap has already existed for a long time. How about we just like not unalive anybody? How about we just allow everybody to breathe air on this God beautiful earth that we're all a part of? How about we just like don't do anything like that? For sure. No, this is just like an official one yeah. where everybody knows exactly yeah. how it went down. I just don't, I, I feel like any platform if they really could have a lot of people were talking shit now for example what's up with why was rory tripping on you to that extent did you see oh, that i didn't see it but i heard about it okay yeah I don't know. Not you know what he's doing who is that Rory is uh, Joe who Budden's is that? former uh, co-host. I don't know. I guess he he Wait, took particular. I wonder what. Let me see. What did Rory say about Adam Twenty Two? Let me see. I don't know. Rory has something to say about Adam Twenty Two. Let me see. Hold on, y'all. Oh, it's 22 minutes of this. Okay, so we're going to have to add this one to the queue. That'll be the next video. That'll have to be the next queue. That's 22 minutes. Sheesh, my bad, y'all. But I'll get y'all that one in the next video. I got y'all, I got y'all, I got y'all. It's in the queue. It's in the queue. It's in the queue. I thought you knew. That's how you what it do. We'll get y'all that, though. Killer offense to it. I don't exactly know, like, what his argument is. I'm assuming that it's going to be as... Uh, like nonsensical as the stuff that I heard Tax Stone say about it. There's like no real, like, sensical point, no logic, just a lot of emotion. So I'm like, I'm kind of like not even motivated to click on people's clips about it because to me, it's like everybody's saying the same thing. Are you shit. ducking a fade, bro? Because like, With I Roy? see you like, I, that clip it. I'd like to see uh, that. About, I, I don't think he's ducking a fade. I can imagine how many online fades are met. Adam 22 is met with daily. I know how many little online fans are met with me daily. Is he ducking the fade or does he not care? At what point is Adam 22? And we, we only say this because this is white on white crime. White on white crime. Um, at what page do... At what page... At what page... At what point are you done with arguing with all the pages? You feel me? All the other bloggers and all that. At what point... Whatever. And then even deeper than that, at what point are you allowed to just simply not care? Yeah, I'm smoking my little roaches because I don't want to smoke too much because that's the trap lottie, man. And I be getting too stuck off the trap lottie, so I'm taking my little bullets to trap lottie because I'm going to go outside, allergies and all, and go cut the yard, man, because it needs to get cut. Because it needs to get cut. And because I'm a grown man. And this is totally off topic. It has nothing to do with nothing. But I'm a grown man, bro. I got a yard. The yard is getting overgrown. I got to make sure that it get cut. Got to make sure it's maintained. The house got to look presentable and all that kind of stuff. Woody bam and all that, blah, blah, blah. And all that kind of shit. Like, yeah, bro. You feel me? Like, this grown man is, bro. Like, I got to stop what I'm doing. I got to cut the yard. You feel me? Like, it is what it is. And I can't be too faded cutting the yard. You know what I'm saying? Because it's going to take me hella long. I'm going to be moving slow. So I'm just doing my little woo wops to the Wooty Bams until I get to my whatchamacallit. Let me do me, big dog. Let me do me, big dog, especially if you ain't got no yard to cut. If you got a yard to cut, you understand exactly what, I'm got, what I got going on. If you had a daddy in your life and you grew up cutting yards, you know exactly what I got going on. If you don't, it just ain't for you, big dog. But are you really a man if you don't know how to cut the yard? Are you really a man if you don't know how to change a tire? Ponder that while I do this.
Oh, really? Right? up the chat, yeah. No, I didn't see yeah. it. I just heard some people mention it. I don't I think, think anybody clicked it. I think it. that you, you've you blocked it out your mind, too, though. Because yeah. I've seen, I think I know somebody who offered the clip, and you said, fuck your clip. Yeah, I didn't even want to see the clip. I don't even give a shit. Honestly, like, I, I really exercised that during this of, like, oh, this, there's this tweet that has, like, 50,000 likes with a bunch of people hating. It's like, I don't need to read it. Fact. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. yeah, that's how I am. I'll watch. I'll I would literally I'll read it. watch a reaction to me on silent. Mm. And just look like, oh, they made that. I don't even want to hear it. Let me see. She's lubing my hands up. That's crazy. Well, fools know how many, Freaky like, fuck. like <laughs> you're going to get likes off of reacting to somebody that's got motion regardless. Yeah? Yeah, you know. yeah for sure. I'm not watching the hate train for me. I'm just not doing that. It don't make no sense. But what to what extent? Because we didn't see it, but I do want to know because I didn't see it. You know. Yeah, I mean. what do you think is point? Do you see it? What's his yeah, point? I didn't watch it. Yeah. Um... It, it really just seemed like ultimately that's right Les you messy mother checker you, you make sure you watch it he was like mad at you for platforming somebody for the sole reason that he didn't did like killed somebody of no nah, I was saying like he didn't so he's mad that he did like I mean like yeah, I, I, I didn't see anything that made real sense if you're attempting to be a journalist if we're in the field of media and you're attempting journalism I don't see what yeah, it's not a vanity platform. We don't only put people on this platform to hype them up and talk about how great they right. are. Like, we can have people on this platform who've done bad things and, and have conversations whole, about those things. It gives a whole different context and, like, feeling to the whole Richard Spencer thing, which was That's what I'm saying. created so much division previously. What? Oh, go ahead. We put people on this platform all the time who don't agree, and I might like really disagree with one side of it, and they could still have conversations about it. You you hopped into some messy shit though, as your as your brother. I gotta tell you, like why you say that? Cause, I mean, you you a fucked up individual like You're me. Just controversial. So yeah, that's what I say. You like me? You don't matter. That's why I'm like, know, fuck it. Jacksonville, it is. Y'all get that work it. this week. But uh, it's not like I didn't know that this was gonna get this reaction. Exactly. I one thousand percent knew it was gonna exactly. get this reaction. If anything, I feel like it's maybe getting a little bit less of a reaction than I kind of thought it would because I thought it would be more explosive. But the little dude was kind of respectful, but then he yeah. was trying to be disrespectful at the same time. It was so it, he was respectfully disrespectful and disrespectfully respectful for sure. It, it was mm -hmm. like, you know, the only thing that he said that wasn't respectful was like, no, I'm I want to apologize. apologize. I want to apologize. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, he got some sense of truth. Like anybody that's right there listening, that's really from the streets, you understood the message. Yeah, he a kid, so it might have came off a little arrogant or like a little bossy. Well, but he could have he could have came in here literally and like I I, I react. Oh no, I just did a Cam Capone interview. It'll be out in a second, but I, I talked about it again. But, let's go. Hey man, yeah. Okay. yeah. So um, he. Where was I at? No, no, no. He could have came in here and went nuts. Yeah, he could have came in here with this, with Bob Smoke's face on it. He could have been rolling that shit. He could have went crazy. No, 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 no. I'm just he's saying. Right. He's right. He's right. He's right. He's right. No, 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 that, that no, would be where the world that would not be the most surprising thing in the world. That. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm really just being honest. Like, no, he came right. and did it that, up. That, that, you he came in here hella humble. He was humble. Yeah. He was humble. That was humble. Especially his age, he could have. He definitely could have came in way cockier. He definitely could have came in way hotter. Um, he was as humble as what I think. <clears throat> he was way um, hum more, way more humble than what I would have expected him to be. However, he's still from where he's from. He still represents what he represents. He still thinks how he thinks. So, you know, humility is in the eyes of the beholder. You feel me? Um, you know, it's just like... I don't know, man. It, it, it's a tricky one with that kid. It's a tricky one with that kid. You feel me? Man, it's just tricky. It's whatever. Came Them in niggas gonna be mad at him regardless. They kill Pop Smoke, nigga. They're on your ass regardless. And anybody that, I guess, would you expect Adam to press him during the shit? Like, Adam do media. Yeah. And then that's the thing, too. Like, I don't know what anybody expected Adam 22 to do, but what Adam 22 did. You feel me? I don't know how anybody expected him to do anything outside of what he did. Well, well, you know, know, I, did, you. I did press him like I, I I really was trying to get him to reckon with the gravity of like what he did well, and there were moments in the interview where it felt like he was taking accountability and like when I use the example for him of 
if I go to drive my car home from this interview and I hit somebody with my car, but I was paying attention to the road, the guy was just like walking across the street at the wrong time. He didn't realize that I had the green light and I kill him. I'm going to feel bad about it, even if I didn't go out of my way to, to put this guy in danger. Even now, though it wasn't your intention. situation is very different. Obviously, when you go to somebody's fucking house and break into the house, you're going into it with a very different uh, mm -hmm. uh, 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 you know, expectation. Yeah. But then in that moment, he was like, yes, hard. I said I would. Yeah, when you go into somebody's space that they're living in and you have the intention of taking something, you have the intention of doing harm to someone else or accepting the fact that harm can be done to you. So feel horrible he goes yes horrible that's how i feel it's like he almost doesn't have the emotional range to like process how horrible that shit was for the families and the friends of the person who died all right man so that's that we're gonna go ahead and get up out of here to the next one make sure you have that red dot slide it to the left more this good content we got going on here at tnn trap news network some news you can use knowledge though you can't get in no bodies college though big dog make sure y'all like comment subscribe like comment subscribe like comment subscribe get out of here to the next one man